In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own light mode or dark mode toggle buttons in your Power BI reports. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step and also how you can set it up so you can customize it very easily. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. If you worked with Power BI in the past, you'll know that the dark mode feature is not yet available for its UI. You can use dark mode, for example, in your themes down here. You can use dark mode themes for your report, for example, but what if you wanted to toggle between dark or light mode? So here's a report that I created with a few simple charts and visuals. I've been using this data model to demo other reports in the past, but this is essentially a database for a fictional company, Northwind Traders, which sells grocery goods internationally. Let's say we want to add the ability to switch between different color schemes here in this report with a click of a button. There are many different ways that you can do this. You can use a bookmark to hide or show visuals. But what I want to do here is instead take advantage of the conditional formatting options available in our visuals. Conditional formatting allows you to dynamically set a value to a property. You'll know that you can use it if you go to any visual, for example, and if any of the properties have, let's say, this FX button right next to it, it means that you can use conditional formatting to it. The first thing that we'll need to do is to create a disconnected table that we're going to use as a toggle for our report. To do that, we're gonna go home, create, enter data, here we can create a new table. We're just going to name it colors. And then I'm just going to create a new column header called color. And then I want light and dark mode here. So if I hit load, that will add a new table in our report here. Here we go. And if we drag color, you will know that obviously it's just a table with two values. We can create and change it into a slicer, change it into horizontal view so that it's a sort of a proper toggle visual here. We'll just go ahead and hide the header. And in general, I want to change the background, just make it transparent. Make it a bit smaller, like this, and here you go. So this allows you to toggle between dark or light mode when it works. Now this toggle seems a bit dry, and if you want to show something different, like say add an icon to make this a little bit look like it's not a slicer, you can do that too. So we're gonna go and edit this color table that we've created. So transform, go to colors, hit the cog icon. This will allow us to edit the table once more. And instead of just changing it here, I'm just going to create a new column here. I'm just going to use it labels here. So this will be what we want to show in our slicer. Now, if you want to use emojis or icons, uh, you can use windows dots that will open up the emoji board here and let's say we want to show the sun if it's light this one for example and then for dark i want to use the moon so this one like this we simply hit okay close and apply that will create the labels there. And now in this slicer visual, instead of using the colors, use the labels. So now that will give us the light and dark options here. 
Next, we need to create measures that determines what color each element needs to be based on what is toggled here in our slicer. In this specific report, we only need to customize three different things, but bear in mind you can have more. In this case, we're going to look at customizing background color, text color, and the visual colors itself. So now we'll start by creating a new measure. We're going to name this one, let's say, color text. We're just going to start by uh, changing the colors of the text first. So in this case, we're just going to put my hex code here, FFF, FFF, like that. And I know that this hex code is for the color white. So if we set this as the conditional value for any of our texts, you will see that that text will change into white because that's what I've set here. So let's start by just showing you here. If we go to the title here in the text color, if you click the FX button, change the format style to field value, and then under the colors where we've created that measure, this is basically saying whatever is the value of this color text, use that as the text color for my title. If you hit OK, you will see that that's now changed to white. You can't see it yet, uh, but that's fine because we will change that shortly. So now let's go back to this measure. Let's delete that. So from here, you can create an if statement to say use a color if a specific value is selected in our slicer. But I don't really like hard coding values like that in measures. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add the hex colors in our colors table that we've just created. I'm just going to go back to our transform here. So what I wanted to do is go back to colors here and customize it for the last time. And I wanted to add three different columns. So one for the background, one for the text, and one for the visuals. This allows us to dynamically customize the colors for each of these elements based on if they are light or dark. And it avoids us having to write those values directly into the measures themselves. Now to save us some time, I've already created or decided what the background uh, different colors should be for each of these modes. So I'm just gonna simply copy these and I'm gonna paste it here. So these will be the specific values for each of the modes. Hit OK. So that's it. We'll simply close and apply. And now we can start modifying our measures. So now let's go back to this measure color text. Let's delete this white because we want to now set this dynamically. We'll start by creating a new variable here, selected. We'll use this function called selected value. And the selected value will be whatever we have selected in our colors. Now the return value is going to be an if statement. Say if is blank, and this will be the selected. So if it's blank, it will be light, else it will be whatever is selected. If you hit enter, that's really it. So what does this do? So the first variable that we've created here returns whatever value is selected in our slicer here. Then the if statement here on line four ensures that if nothing is selected in our slicer, which in this case we can deselect and not select anything, as you can see here, it will default to the light mode, whatever measure or uh, colors we set for the light mode. So you will see that now here, for example, we've set the color of the text and pay attention to this one because it's now come up now and this is linked to this color text measure. So if we go to dark mode, you will see that that color changes dynamically based on what we've selected here. So let's continue by creating the rest of the measures that we need. So I'm gonna just simply copy that one, create a new measure. We need one for visuals, I think. Visuals. 
and then another measure for the background. There we go. Now let's start applying these values to our cards in the page itself. So let's start with this one. So let's go to the formatting page here. Under callout value, let's start by modifying this one. This should be the value for text. Like this. And then we need to also change the color of the category value. This needs to be text as well. So now you can preview how that would look like if you simply go light or dark, like this. And that's it for the card, really. So it's just pretty much the total sales, the category label, and then the callout value. If there is a background, we need to make sure that it, that's changing, or we can just set it as turned off. That just makes sure that it will take whatever the background color will be. Now, if you want to do the same thing to the other cards and want to save a bit of time, instead of having to redo all of that, you can simply use the Format Painter. Just toggle that and click on the other similar visuals. You will notice that all those changes that you've made will be applied to those as well, so you don't have to keep redoing them one by one. So we'll continue that. Great, so now those cards are pretty much done. Let's continue with this visual chart here, total sales by product name. So we've already done the title, which is fine. We need to make sure that the values, colors themselves, are also changed into the text color. And then the bars themselves as well, make sure that is also set to whatever the color is for the visual that we've set, hit OK. Uh, just make sure then the lastly background is turned off as well. And now we can preview that, we go light or dark, that also changes. Now let's mimic the same thing, just for a painter, click, there you go. So dark mode, light mode, dark mode, light mode. Now the last thing that we need to do is to customize the background color. Now we need to do something of a workaround for this one because at the moment if you go to format page and try to change the background color you will notice that the conditional formatting option is not available for this property. But what you can do instead is to create a rectangle shape behind all of your visuals which will act as a background. And what this allows you to do is to customize the background of it dynamically. So let's just move this at the back first. So we'll go selection and just drag it at the very bottom. Just make sure it's behind everything else. And then for the shape, go to style, FX, field value, We'll set it to the color background. Click OK. And that's it, pretty much. So now if you select dark mode, you will see that you will now have the option to see everything in dark mode or light mode. And what's great about this is that if you want to use a different color scheme, you can simply edit it from the colors table that you have created here. This means it doesn't matter how many customizations or different color measures you create, you only maintain the actual palette themselves in this one table, making it very simple to maintain it across different visuals. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a simple toggle that allows you to switch between light mode and dark mode in Power BI. Thanks for watching, as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.